Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary and I'm an illustrator and designer living in Canada. Today I have another sketchbook tour for you. This is a Moleskin Art Plus sketchbook or Art Pro or whatever they're calling them these days. Uh, I've been using these for years and years back when they were like super yellow and back when they weren't very good and back when they got better and Anyway, it's been a while since I've had one, so I thought it would be nice to try it out. Uh, first things first is that they got smaller. They got smaller than they used to be. I was a little surprised. Um, but they were also on sale, so I couldn't really complain. <laughs> Let's get into it now. So this one I started on May 27th, and ooh, I forgot to put the finish date in. So let's do that right now. I finished it on September 3rd, 2020. So yeah, on the first page, there's just some stickers that I like. Uh, this I thought was a little too perfect. Um, obviously it's not supposed to be a hotel coronavirus, but it kind of is. Um, and this is just a sticker I got from Wish. And then there's some stamps here, some old stamps that I wanted to save. This one's from the UAE. My aunt used to live there. Uh, this little sticker is from Minnie Small. This one is by Erin Navrity. This is by me, and this is by some artist on Redbubble. The first page here, I was just drawing some dragons and stuff. I really like this first guy on this page. I don't know why, but something about him really speaks to me. The rest are kind of like, eh, whatever, you know, they're okay. And here are some sketches that I did for my Alpha Bestiary project, which is still underway. I still have to write copy for most of the letters, and I just, I haven't felt like it. I edited all the images, I've got the book mostly set up to print, uh, but I'm just dragging my feet. So if you want to see that zine, tell me to hurry up and I will finish it and get it printed. This nice yellow orangey paint over here is from Stone Ground Paint Co. And I just wanted to see how it would take to the moleskin paper. Uh, and it works pretty much as much as, as I remember it, as moleskin usually does. It has a slight resist quality, um, but not too bad. Here are some medieval type drawings. This is a main character from a story that I worked on in college that I keep in the back of my head. I've never done anything finished with it. Um, but anyway, his name is William Hildebrandt and uh, he sort of, he lives in the back of my mind. He's a dopey squire character. <laughs> Here's just a sort of fantasy type cat, not really any type of big cat in particular. And a couple of sketches here. I like how this one over here turned out with the ferns behind. Those ones I think are just done with a pit pen, a pit marker. And over here are some cows that I had to draw for a client project so I just needed to brush up on my cow anatomy. In the end the cows that are getting printed are like maybe that big um, <laughs> but I drew some big cows anyway just to just to refresh myself on some cow anatomy and uh, I don't know they're super cute. Cows are cute. Cute cute cute. These are some more sketches for that project and this one as well. Obviously those aren't the finals, um, but yeah, sometimes the sketches that I do for bigger projects are very strange. Like this line is actually useful, um, believe it or not, even though it looks like nothing. Here are some goofy dogs. And on this page is sort of an illuminated letter T with a Tylosaurus around it. I'd like to do something in this vein uh, later in the future. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I've, I've got some new projects that I'm working on that are taking up more of my time. So these sort of personal things are a little bit on the back burner. It has some gold watercolor on there, which I think looks really nice in the light. And then this sketch here is sort of weird, but it's from a book called Galactic Pot Healer by Philip K. Dick. It's about a guy who fixes ceramics. Um, <laughs> and there's sort of this big 
cosmic god character who's very funny. Reading the book is very, like, it's got a Miyazaki quality to it, I guess, uh, in that there are tons of different characters, but they're all inhabiting the same plane and being goofy but being serious and yeah so that's sort of where that was going these are more sketches from that book and my partner and I have an idea to do a fake book cover for it at some point because we really enjoy the novel uh, so this was just like a first stab at it and I think some of these characters turned out quite cute These are some Mobius-inspired drawings. You can see here the big, like, classic Mobius hat with the, the ear flaps. For those of you who don't know Mobius, uh, it's an alias for Jean Giraud, who's a French comic artist and basically one of the best draftsmen ever. Pretty much. You know, incredibly prolific, really, really, really great ink work. Um, if you're into comics, you have to read Mobius. It's, like, required reading. I drew these, I think, while I was camping. I just wanted to do something totally silly, uh, so... I did some funny caricatures of some women of historical origin. This is sort of Elizabethan over here. This one's a little bit more Victorian. Here's a tiny cow with wings, because the cow jumped over the moon, as you know. This sketch here was for a skirt that I then uh, sewed, and it turned out okay. It was really only the second wearable skirt I've sewn. I've since sewn a third one that is by far the best one that I've sewn, so I'm learning. Um, the pleats... Yeah, I did them pleated. It was from a 1940s vintage pattern that I bought. Anyway, it, it turned out okay. It's not the best. I'd like to revisit that pattern one day. Here are the sketches that I did for my little free library, and there is a video of this on my channel. If I remember to link it, it'll be here. Uh, otherwise, you can go digging yourself. And these kitten drawings also have a video. These ones I just drew from memory and colored with uh, a cool highlighter that I have. Um, this sketch here is obviously based on the actor Sebastian Stan. I just like his face. And then this page here I drew while watching I, Tanya. So... It doesn't really correlate exactly, but there are a few things that sort of are from the movie. <laughs> Ooh, I just got a knock at the door. That scared me. Okay, it was just the mailman, and it was this cake tester that I ordered online so that I can use it for baking and have something reusable instead of throwing away toothpicks. Anyway, the flask is a reference to Itania, and so are the rabbits, um, if you've seen the movie then you'll know. Um, <laughs> but the rest of these are just things that I had on my desk and things from my memory. I think this page is really nice in its sort of object-heavy quality. It's not usually what I draw, but I should draw more of it. A couple more sketches here, sort of thinking about, you know, 18th, 19th century privateer clothing, but trying to make it cooler because some of those sailors you know if you look at the old like illustration plates and stuff they look really stupid <laughs> uh here are a couple sketches that i think i did during D, D. this is the only decent sketch i've done of my current D, D character i play a tiefling paladin named Diligence, and she's basically just, like, female Indiana Jones, um, but a little bit more, I don't know, <laughs> a little bit more reluctant. Even though I didn't build her that way, that's always how my characters play. I always feel like, uh, they always, I, they always play really grumpy. That's just, I guess, how I improv best. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing, but anyway, uh, yeah, I've been playing a tiefling paladin, which is weird. I don't know if I really like paladin. 
I'm getting used to it. Now that we're level three, I can actually, you know, do stuff, but I still feel like, I don't know, paladins don't get a lot of actions every turn. Uh, I get like an attack um, or a spell and then I don't, my only bonus action now is to uh, do a vow of enmity and, and that's not, it's like useful, but it's not like as cool as a rogue. I'm jealous of rogues, that's, that's all I have to say. Um, <laughs> these on this page are sketched with my beam paints. These lovely guys here. If you Google them, Bean Paints, you'll find their shop, and they're fabulous. It's an indigenous-owned and created paint brand, and I just really like playing with them. I really like their qualities. Uh, this side here, just a funny little dragon guy, and then a leaf that got stuck in my hair on a walk, so I decided to keep it, because um, it was cute. On this side here, I did a collage out of some nature magazines that I got sent. Um, I've donated to a few nature charities, so I get a few uh, mailed things from them every year. And uh, yeah, putting them to good use, making weird collages. On this side is a sketch of the drag queen Plastique Tiara, because um, she's so dang pretty. These sketches here were just some really tiny sketches for my Natural Formation Handmade Paint logo. Um, this is what I wanted and then Heritage Type Company had a perfect design set that I could use for that. So I purchased that and put it to good use. This side is kind of some more collages as well. And then this reference image that I printed off of uh, Monarch of the Glen by Edwin Lanzier. I just thought I'd stick it in here uh, to cover up some bad calligraphy practice um, and also just so that I wasn't throwing out something that has a lot of ink on it from the poor printer that we use too much. More kitten drawings from the kitten video. Here's a couple of dragon type creatures done in pencil crayon. I, th I like this one as well. I like how weird his face is. I think there's something really cool there. I think I was on to something. This page here was just for sketching for a sewing project that I did. I made like a little roll up pouch to hold my weaving supplies that I have for my mini loom. And this side here is some sketches for a client. And also, these are sketches for one as well. This page here are some flowers that I painted with paints by Yulia Kalin. And as always, they're just so pretty. I love the, I love the shininess to these. Um, and they're just my favorite go-to thing to paint when I need to relax and not think as much. Um, it's really, really calming. These are poppies on this side, and these are sort of tulips on the other side, like tulips that are falling apart, I guess. More sketches for a project. And then these sketches over here I did with some Arteza brush pens, just to see how they would work with the moleskin paper. And they weren't great, the moleskin paper bleeds quite a bit, so I, uh, you know, I learned something from that. This is the title of a comic that my partner's working on with his uh, project team member. So just practicing some calligraphy while writing that out. I think I'm gonna help them with their, their title and word mark later. It won't be like this at all, but you know. And then I sketched some deer here from reference. This I believe is a white-tailed deer or a mule deer. And then this is a, an elk calf. A few sketches on this page and then I also just wanted to use some of my washi tape that I have lying around partly because again I did some lame calligraphy uh, practice over here and then my nib crapped out on me and I rage quit and threw it in the trash because um, it was literal garbage and yeah so cover it with some nice washi tape 
This is my mom's dog, Echo. We went for a little day trip and this was her sort of snoozing near the table while we had lunch. And I also got this cool washi tape, which is like a gridded craft paper, which I really like. I think it adds a lot of interest to the pages. Um, and yeah, I got some stamps too, um, but they didn't work very well. I wanted to draw some Edwardian elves, <laughs> which was sort of fun and uh, not the direction I really want to go with this idea, but I think in the future I might want to do like a legit well-painted portrait rather than some pen scribbles. And this page here was really inspired by Cheyenne Barton and uh, Sean from Furry Little Peach here on YouTube. Um, the cat with some like Posca pen squiggles and stuff. If you know their art, then you'll know. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to do this and it was really fun. It was really fun. So I did it again on the next page with the fruits and stuff um, and a funny little cat. And then just to give my Posca pens some more use. I don't use them a lot. I don't use them for anything like final, but they're fun to sketch with on occasion. So I wanted to try sketching these rainbow beetles and then I did a rainbow dragon as well. Oh, 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 too close, too close. Um, but yeah, so these are all just with the Posca marker set that I have, which is like a pastel rainbow set. And anyway, it was fun. It's totally bizarre, perfect for a sketchbook. And then I finished this one off with some sketches of some birds and fox, some from memory, some from reference. And that's it. The last page is some funny calligraphy practice. I bought a new parallel pen, but the ink bleeds in the moleskin as well. So, you know, it doesn't bleed on my actual calligraphy paper. So that's, that's probably what that's for. And then this beautiful little drawing is from Minnie Small, and it came with some postcards that I ordered from her. And I just wanted to keep it because it looks so nice. And that's it. These two stickers are by me. You can pick this one up on my Redbubble. If you search Thoughts Up North on Redbubble, uh, and uh, this was a promo sticker from ages ago, so, you know, there it is. There is the sketchbook. On to the next one. If you'd like to see more sketchbook tours and more work from yours truly, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!